Okay, we're going to read um, a Tin Horn book. Um, it's not, we're going to read part of it. We're going to read the short story called What Alex Bulberton Said. They called the guy Alex Bourbon because he loved to drink, but aside from that, he had a strange way about him. It made some people nervous and it made some people laugh, but Alex never left anyone around him untouched. Whenever he and the regulars who hang, hung around his sinkhole local heard, heard uh, Dan Morrison's song on the drunk, drunk fruit box, Jackie and Wilson said, and Alex was charged that line to Alex, Alex Bourbon said, and then he'd follow up with any bit of did dog dog lower that came to mind and howl it to the bar to the bar at top volume. Even weirder was that the people played along, as if he said Alec Bowden said, thumb your nose. Every other rummy and sense in the joint would thumb his nose and laugh like it was the greatest joke in the world. They pound the heavy oak tables into in that old bar, and for a brief moment, the air wasn't so heavy with st st stale smoke or the smell of of loses of loses. The bar was named after some forgotten church, a haunted ruin, where witches danced as drunken as the drunken protagonist stumbled home in an old poem. This wasn't a place where I ironic hipsters or flaming socialists went to drink beer from cans. This was a place where a man who had witnessed hard lives went to die slowly, poisoning themselves along the way. It was always winter inside, the end of something, cold and melancholy, but for a few brief moments when something comic happened. Even then, though, the mirth was momentarily like the time old Doom slipped a pool of spilled beer and fell on his face, shoveling his, his glasses into his baggy eyes. The whole place waffled at Dom's goggling pupils. The, sur the surgery left him entirely blind in one eye, and mostly blind in the other, though. Old Doom uh, owed Alex twenty dollars. Alex Alex Bourbon likes it cold and dark inside the bar. One man had a face like the bolt of a tree and hands like tree gnarled roots. His hair, when he didn't wear it, was that, that greasy New York jet cap. Looked like a crow's nest of thrush and twigs. Even Alex's dis disposition could grow as dark as the wooden surfaces on the bar on occasion, especially when women were involved. He hated them, and he hated them. They hated him, and he hated them. But behind the bar said that Alex Burton had been married years ago, but that she was a beer woman, so that eventually had killed her. Had to kill her. Alex said Birch had a sense of humor to shut the fuck up, and that puns were the lowest. Form of language. Butch told Alex to pay his tab, and it was only it was the only time in thirty seven years that Alex didn't offer a returning remark. If it was Alex's bar anyway, even if he didn't own it or work there, he was there more than anyone else. So it was it was that so it was that the mm -hmm. Bull and some old regulars who shared Alex's bar were surprised one night when when in walked a pretty young woman looking at least um at least a century um Alex Junior and asked for him. She wore a bright green dress. Her eyes were wide and dewy. Her long legs and her long le legs long and strong, and more than a few coarse words passed among the horsey men when she arrived. Alex in the shot in the shelter, in the sh shifter, but said, "I will wait." She replied. 
not, I'll wait, but I will wait. And so she waited. When Alex returned from the bathroom, he carried his glass with him. Thirsty work. He called to no one in particular, and all those no one in particular laughed, just like they always did before returning to their own drinks. This time, though, they kept their eyes on him. He walked back to his bar and sat on the high wooden stool. The woman, her hands clasped before her, approached him. You are Alex Bullbone. He replied by looking at her eye to eye and downing his drink in a long gulp. I am Anne. I know who are you, who you are, Rabbit. He cut her off. And if you want to know what, want, want what you want, you have to drink with me. I do not drink, she protested. Short, quiet laughs and vague comments about femininity uh, floated through the air from patrons seated at the oak and mahogany recess of the bar's table. You do if you want you you if you want want to talk to me. This much was true. Alex rarely received guests at the bar, but when he did, they always drank with him, some more willingly than others. Several young men, loud men, young men from Boston, once drank with him eagerly. An enormous steel worker who came to see him drink re reluctantly. You drink with me. I do what I do as you ask, Alex said. You don't even know what I shall ask, the woman continued, though she took a seat next to him, even though he never stood for her or offered it to her, the cad. I didn't get to be the man I am today by holding, hiding my head in the bushes, Alex bellowed, slapping his hand on the bar with the sound of a cuddle, cuddle, cudgel. The woman scottishly agreed. I assume we drink bourbon. Bully for you, honey. After that, no one, ho no one heard what they said to each other for the rest of the night. The woman left, but no one could tell you when or how many drinks she had or, or her apparent mood when she left. Everyone at the bar just nodded and looked the other way. But swore he put, he put the woman's only drink on Alex's tab. Fudge vaguely remembered her saying something about a year and a day. Muttering to himself, Alex rode down the downtown train. Promises, promises he snarled at the world, or maybe to anyone who had the power to do anything about them. That was his life, promises and dreams. He imagined that anyone else's life, a world of promises and dreams, would be a beautiful thing. Not so for him. He kept promises because he had to, for the same reason he kept so many dreams at bay. At the second stop after the transfer line, the woman with the dewy eyes and long legs got on the train. She wore a dour gray dress and a raincoat about the same color as the dress, only a little bit more blue. Alec noticed her but paid no mind. Paid her no mind. She saw him, but her eyes betrayed no hint of recognition. Other people boarded the train too. Teenagers going home late from friends' houses, short order cooks coming off the midshift, lawyers who put in long hours. Alec didn't know any of them. A man in a suit on a cell phone bumped his knee and said, Sorry, old man. Alec offered a hot half half heartedly reply. Promises, promises. The man in the gray suit ga gave Alec a curious look that expressed a lack of comprehension, then turned away and returned to his cell phone conversation. Alec was obviously senile, just another nut on the train. Alec sat in the same seat for the whole trip. He left his, hand, his left hand wrapped around the railing like a tree branch that had grown around an intruding fence post. He kept his right hand in his pocket except for the dozen times he brought it out to raise his flask to his lips. At the, at the south 8th 
stop. The woman with the dewy eyes and long legs got off the train. Alex left the train, too. She went down the stairs and into the street. Alex followed, 99 steps behind her, sipping from his flask. She turned left on 3rd, left again on Angler, and then right on 6th. Alex had gone left on 5th, left again on Holly, and then left on 6th. Six. Alex wanted her to have enough time. When he turned on 6th, no one was there. It was too cold to be out this time of the year, but that was the, the way Alex liked it. The bourbon in his flask kept him warm, and he smoked the cigarette clenching it between his fingers, feeling the heat through his cut-off gloves. That was probably long enough, he reasoned, and took a few steps down the block. The brownstone was, he lingered in front of was lit up with a cold light, only a few of the windows displaying any hint of the season's coming holidays. Presently, a couple dressed in running gear came out the front door, walking a pale-eyed wine, wine master. Alec grabbed the doorknob before the door closed and pushed his way inside. He found the foil, dim of 